Hey, hello, welcome guys. So in this video, we will learn how we can create ESS job for BI reports. So here you can see we have BI reports. Once I will open this BI report. So right now we don't have any parameters in the report, right? I will create separate videos for that also. So in this report, when we, I run that report, it's showing us the data like that, right? In CSV format, it can be visible in the PDF also. So what our requirement is that our requirement is to convert this, uh, uh, like create a ESS job need to create a ESS job for this report so that whenever user will run that ESS job that report will be run and that it will show us the output in the log so how we can do is that for that we need to move to the uh, setup and maintenance and let's start so here you can see I will go to setup and maintenance and where we need to search this job like manage enterprise scheduler jobs and we'll select that financial and S models so we will go the global search that the search and here we will search so once you will search you will get various options so here we have to select as a manage enterprise scheduler job definition and job sets for financial supply chain management and the related application just click here you will get a list of list of ESS job or list of programs right schedule programs so here we will create one custom schedule program or custom program that will help us to run the BI report so I will create separate videos where I will call that input program the program we created right in integration and all. So here you can see there are various import programs right various programs if you will go for that import tables here you can see. You can see import tables report import tables invoices all these things right that same import program we can run from the schedule interface like so here what we need to do we need to create custom programs right custom job. So that can be called as ESS job. So just click here for creating new. Just click here. What it requires, it requires the report details, right? So as I have this report, so I have already copied the path of this report. So for getting copy of the path of report, what you can do, you can just go and in properties and get the copy from there only, or you can directly navigate to the schedule. And in the schedule, it's it's showing the complete path of the report. So from here only you can make a copy of that. So here you can say report name. This is the complete path of the report. You can make a copy or even you can copy from report path also, right? Right. So that that's fine. I will not go. I have already copy here. You can see this is the path I have already copied. So here what required is that if you will see here, it's ask, showing that the display name. So display name means something that is going to show there, right? You can give any name and the name is the sort name. It cannot contain any space and all right you can see so here suppose this this report is related to the invoice right so i will create name as xx xx is going to consider as a custom you can use instead of xx you can use your uh, like business identifier whatever business identifier you are following in your project so i will just give you a xx invoice report without parameter this is my name so with the name i will search in the schedule job and here I need to give the name XX invoice report without parameters. So here I will make a copy of the name so that it will be easy for us to identify later. And this is the sort name we can say, right? And here you can see right now we don't have any parameter in the report. We already like I have already run the report. This report doesn't have any parameter. If that report have any parameters, we can add the parameters from here only. If that parameters is related to the list of values, we can define list of values here only. And here we have managed job set. So I don't want to create job set. So I will skip everything here, right? So now we need to provide the path so this is the custom part you can provide any any directory or this will be the temporary directory will be created in oracle folder right so here you can see enter the name of the folder to store the job definition this folder is created in so whatever path i will provide that will be created in the oracle apps ess custom job right so what i will do is that i will just make a copy of this one so i i will just use this one this path as a custom path right and here we need to select the application so as this report i am aware about that the report is related to the like payables so i will select payables here in application here you can give the description of the import program so i will just give this 
program is this program or ASS job is used to run BI report without any parameters right so this is a basic description I have given I don't want to provide any details here and the mandatory part is the job application name so here you can see the job application name is something what is whatever we are using selecting while creating the data model so if I will edit the data models here you can see the application we are selecting right so same application we have to select here only so let me just edit and so that I can show you easily I will create separate videos right where I will show you how we can we can uh, assign this uh, ESS job to user by creating the privileges and adding the privileges to the roles and assigning the roles to user so here if you will edit you can see the data source that is application DB FSCM right the same you need to select here so here we will see application FSCM ESS you can see here right here FSCM financial and supply chain ESS so I will select here job type it will be like VIP job type right the job type here I will select the VIP job type and the class name does not require so when so right now we are not going to use bursting of these reports as this report doesn't have the configuration related to the bursting so we will not do anything right so here I will skip and here you can see the class name so here this is a complete class name or path we don't require anything default output format so if you want to provide default output format you can provide from here only otherwise the same whatever we configure here it will be reflect from there only so I will just skip this one and the report ID right here we need to select the report ID and this report ID is something the complete path of the report so complete directory of this report so here we have our report is in the directory so that will be with that XDO right so I will just copy and I will paste here right so this you can see this is the complete details path of the our report and priority I don't want to set anything and that's enable submission of the schedule process so this is required if you will not select here we will not able to submit this ESS job from the schedule uh, schedule right schedule processes so that's fine our program ESS job is ready to uh, create so I will just click here save and close so once I will do save and close it will be created and same we can run from the schedule processes right so we'll go and we'll see how we can run I have already make a copy of this name so here you can see this is the name I will search this name in the ESS job list so it will take a little bit of time to complete so it's created here even you can make a search here only so so if I will click here you can see this xx invoice report without parameter ESS job created right you can see job type BIP job types everything fine now we have to run this report right so for run the report what we need to do is that we need to go to the schedule process so here if you will see in tools we need to move to the tools so yeah here in tools we have schedule processes right you can see somewhere yeah schedule processes so you just need to click here and here we need to run the report right so run the ESS job just click here schedule new process so in if user the ESS job is nothing it, it is like a concurrent program in EBS right so here if I will go you can see this report showing here and the description what I have added this pro program or ESS job is used to run the BI report without any parameters so reverse I will click OK and you can see all the details right this is the name we provided this is a description and everything is like same as that right what we need to we need to submit here once you will submit it generated the submit ID or request ID you can see 420 I will make a search of that only so here you can see this is the 420 it's in running status so when this will be succeeded we can see the log messages so here you can see this is success just click here and you can see in the below you can see this is the log message even you can check the log message also in the log message it is showing everything right output file frame they generated and the request ID and everything details related to the report report ID here you can see the job details and all so here now if you will click here you can see the CSV file of the data whatever data or this is the report output right so here yeah. so this is the simple video where I have just explained how we can create 
ESS job for our BIP reports. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much again.